What's up, Crypto family? I'm back with another update. Right now, we're sitting at 1183. They want you to sell your bags so they can keep on stuffing it. I'm not telling you guys to buy more bags, but like right now, they are taking advantage of these prices. Once again, like how you guys are saying, well, I can't keep on afford to buy more bags and buy more bags. I understand that. That's why they have the upper hand on us. They're going to keep on buying. They're going to keep on spending millions without you even knowing. Of course, the price is manipulated. And to think about it, I want to tell you guys something. Do you guys really think? Sorry about that. Do you guys really think that we need Binance and Coinbase for our price to shoot up? Honestly, is that what you guys really thinking? Like, if you guys thinking that uh, our price is going to shoot up just because we get on Binance and Coinbase, I mean, oh, well, I mean, if you guys feel like that, I don't feel so. Because Dog on Mars is going to move no matter what. It's going to move if it wasn't e even on all these exchanges. That's what you guys are not understanding. The big whales know where to buy dog along mars all right so without it being think about it look at shiba inu it's listed on coinbase and binance us think about it did it touch a penny the shiba inu touch a penny yet they want you to shake out your bags and yeah i mean i i believe that you know if we do get on binance us and Coinbase, the price will shoot up a little bit, but it doesn't matter about the exchanges. They know all of us got in early. They know that we were buying our bags and we they don't act desperate. That's the thing about it. When you're desperate and you seem like you, you're acting like you're so needy, you need this, you need to make this money. I understand that, but I'm not nobody financial advisor. But this is how they're looking at you guys. They're like, well, if we keep on suppressing this price now, a lot more people is going to sell. They're going to say, dog, Elon, Mars is a joke. They want you to believe that. They want you to know that that is nothing. Okay. A lot of people don't do their research. And the only reason why I'm telling you guys, okay, well, this investor bought into this. I don't know what investor, but a big whale had bought in. Listen, in the past seven days, $204 million has been put into Dog on Mars. People has been buying in. So, like, I, I, I'm going to show you guys a little video, but hold up. So, when I type in interplanetary coin, right? You guys see that right there? Okay. All right. And what you guys see right here? You guys see... The dog alone, if the developers has transferred the 50% of this coin to Vitalik Buterin, who is a visionary computer programmer, which we all know. But did you see? 50% Vitalik Buterin holds. He holds 50% of dog Elon Mars. Who else holds the rest? Okay, check this out. Methuselah Foundation controls 43% of the world's dog Elon Mars. So who holds the 7%? You see where I'm coming from? Who is holding the 7% of dog Elon Mars? It got you thinking, right? Vitalik Buterin, if I'm saying his name right or if I'm saying it wrong, I apologize. But you know, he's the one who pushed up, you know, Ethereum. Think, if he ain't selling it, if he is not selling it, think about it. Methuselah definitely ain't selling it. This price is going to shoot up. That's what you guys are not understanding. Not everything has to be on all these exchanges. Now, check this out. The first interplanetary currency, Dog Elon. Technically, it is a fork of Dogecoin in the same sense that a knife is a fork of a spoon. Think about it. It's the fork of Dogecoin. This here has to shoot up a lot more higher than Dogecoin. Family, 
Now, we are into this deep space. We are steady thriving because Mars is soon, Mars is going to have our own city. It's going to be colonized. And with this whole deep space food situation, think about it. Methuselah running through that. We are running that. Simple. Unless you're on the moon or flying in space. Right now, astronauts aboard the space station get food thanks to spacecraft regularly launching from Earth. But future astronauts on a trip to Mars will spend years away from our planet. That means no quick trips to the grocery store or cargo ships bringing supplies. They'll have to bring just about everything they need with them. Is that even feasible? To boldly go where no human has gone before, we have to invent food production systems that can be used in space. These new solutions could also improve our food systems on Earth. They might even help us reduce food insecurity on our planet. That's why NASA and the Canadian Space Agency are launching the Deep Space Food Challenge. Partic and there it go. You guys heard it. You guys seen it. Come on, man. How is it dog along Mars is not going to eat these zeros like it's nothing? What makes you think dog Elon Mars will not surpass Dogecoin all-time high? Remember last year, this is crazy. And I, I have a great feeling. I believe, this is my opinion, I believe. By next year, January or February, we are going to see a massive, a massive pump. Because if this is following the same trend line as Dogecoin, this is going to be huge. This is going to be huge. And for you guys who hold billions and millions of Dog and Law Mars, <laughs> get ready. Get prepared. Because it, what it's looking like to me is doing the same pattern of what Dogecoin did in the beginning of this year. Buckle your seatbelts up. What you guys see right here. Institutional investors and wealth managers set up in-house teams to monitor crypto and digital asset markets. Because why? They know that you, me, we are going to be wealthy. We are chasing the greatest transformation of wealth in history. And you guys are among us. We all are crypto pioneers. I want you guys to remember that. Think about that. Think about that. This is not no game. We're about to go up. That uh, when Mr. Trump, whether you uh, love him or hate him, this was the beginning of the greatest transformation of wealth the world has ever fucking seen since World War II. See, I know what he was going to do. I knew what he And I know what he's going to do now. And he hasn't even got started. Now, what are you, you going to tell your kids and your grandkids 25 years from now when they say, gee, daddy, gee, grandpa, what were you doing other than having your thumb up your big fucking ass during the greatest transformation of wealth in the history of the world? What were you fucking doing? Fuck all. Nothing. That's what most of you will tell them. Your grandchildren and your children. It's never going to get any better than this, kids. This is the, as I said on YouTube, the eye of the perfect motherfucking storm. This is it. I never thought I'd live to see it again. This is going to make the 80s look like a nursery rhyme, which I praise Allah, praise Buddha, praise God. I participated in slashing and raping everybody in the 80s, legally. This is going to make that look like a fucking nursery rhyme. And what are you going to tell your kids? Oh, I had to spreadsheet it. I had to think about it. I had to read another book on M&A, you fucking morons. <laughs> 